Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. All right, listen, I'm trying to get this together, honey. Honey. All right, so I was going to come on here and talk about Martha's Vineyard, and I am still going to talk about Martha's Vineyard, but I have to go ahead and give you guys an update on Whoopi Goldberg and The View. So y'all know the Kate Middleton, um, the Kate Middleton thing has been kind of solved in a way. So we found out a few days back that Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales, I believe, uh, has a form of cancer, which is a very sad situation. So we wish her a speedy recovery and, you know, uh, best wishes to her and her family. Um, but it was really interesting because remember uh, a week or so ago, they were talking about the conspiracy theories and mainly the photoshopped pictures, all right? Remember when the palace came out with those photoshopped doctor pictures? It was uh, Kate Middleton in the middle and then her three children around her. And one of the kids had missing limbs and like the patterns on the sweaters weren't really matching. And like there were so many inconsistencies and people just noticed. And they had released this photo because last thing we knew of Kate Middleton, she was getting abdominal surgery. And then we didn't see her for months on months on months on months. So the, I guess, palace caved in to the public pressure, released a fake photo, a doctored photo, a photoshopped photo, nothing but Facetune and AI. Uh, people pointed it out and it created even more conspiracy theories. Anyway, so they were talking about it on to, what was it, The View, right? And Whoopi Goldberg was kind of like the dissenting voice. And I guess her whole thing was, you know, we shouldn't really be worried or talking about this. You know, Kate Middleton and the palace, they're going to do what they want to do. Who cares? Um, but she was really, really adamant about, you know, the pictures, you know, not being photoshopped and, you know, how there's no, I guess, motive behind the palace to put out any doctored photos as if they're not hiding something. And it was pretty clear to me that they were hiding something. And then they blamed the Photoshop fail on Kate Middleton herself, which uh, now knowing that she is battling cancer, I think is kind of fucked up. But, you know. Uh, you know, I think Alyssa on yesterday's show was like, oh my God, Whoopi was right. Whoopi was right. And I just kind of feel like, no, Whoopi was not right. Whoopi was naive. Um, I guess Whoopi, okay, let me take that back. Whoopi was right, I guess, and not speculating, but Whoopi was wrong in the fact that the palace obviously, um, folded under pressure and released fake images of the princess. And I just kind of feel like it created more of a controversy. It created more questions. It created more conspiracies. It created more questions than it did answering um, any of the questions. And so it is what it is. Now, the only reason why we talked about that was to show Whoopi's very, very, very pissy attitude. I mean, she was really upset at the situation. We don't know why she was so uh, uh, personally invested into that story. Um, but she just did not like the fact that we were pointing out the Photoshop AI inconsistencies when it came to that photo that the palace released. Okay. That brings us to today. So that's the update on that. A lot of the times these stories develop and I don't give you guys updates. So I needed to make sure that I give you guys an update on that. So today on the view, very, very interesting situation. So everybody knows that when you are, you know, going to be on the view or good morning America or the today show or family feud or Sherry or Jennifer Hudson, Drew Barrymore, what have you, um, you cannot have your phone. You have to put your phone on, phone on silence. Excuse me. You have to actually not put it on silence. You have to turn this sucker off. You have to turn it off. You can't have it out. There's no photography. There's no recording. There's no voice notes. There's no text messaging. There's no phone calls. There's no none of that. Okay. They're going to block your signal. Usually they'll block your signal in that damn studio because they do not want any studio audience members to be on their phones at all and on this particular day today um there was a studio audience member who just had their phone out just taking pictures in the back just taking pictures like oh my god i'm at the view oh my god there goes sunny hey sarah Alyssa, whoopi goldberg joy behar but you know it's of course against the studio rules uh for studio audience members to you know be on their phones and taking pictures and stuff like that so Whoopi noticed this from her seat. They're literally in the middle of a segment. Whoopi notices this. She stops the segment, right, in the middle of somebody's sentence. I think it was uh, 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 Sunny in the middle of a diatribe. And, you know, Whoopi Goldberg stopped everything. She stands up. She walks to the end of the stage. She looks the audience member in the eye. 
And she goes, can you please put that damn phone away? Put the phone away and don't uh, take it back out. I have to stop you with the camera because I can see you. So do me a favor. Don't pull it out again. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. What was he doing? Recording. Um, so as I was saying, you know, I think. All right. So in this instance, I do not blame Whoopi Goldberg. I do not blame Whoopi Goldberg for being really pissy. But y'all, I don't know what had happened today. I don't know if she's gone through something at home. I'm not really too sure about the situation. Uh, in my opinion, Whoopi is always kind of pissy. She's always kind of impatient and, you know, just kind of grumpy. But today she was especially grumpy and I don't blame her. Because that studio audience member was, you know, breaking the rules. But then, y'all, she kind of went the fuck in on the producers and the production assistants and everybody working behind the scenes. Because y'all know she's the moderator. And so, <coughs> she's the moderator. And so, um, you know, in the middle of her sentence, right, this time, um, she's giving her view, her opinion on uh, whatever topic they're talking about. And, you know, I guess the producers off to the side are telling her, OK, we got to wrap it up, wrap it up. We have a commercial break in five seconds. But before that, you have to pan the camera over to, uh, you know, pass it to Sonny Hostin because we have a legal note. Right. Well, I guess the Whoopi Goldberg got frustrated. And this is really not her first time doing this, speaking this way to the producers. But there was a little bit of extra oomph to it today in fact i'm gonna get to her my god guys i'm going to get to her may i finish my point or you want me to just jump now Whoopi is not in the mood today i'm not for your shenanigans i'm, I'm trying you know i'm trying shenanigans. to do everything everybody wants but you know i i never mind go ahead son i have a legal note everyone. no kidding <laughs> not no kidding sunny hostin said i have a legal note she said no kidding bitch child she was extra pissy today y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below like the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to create a great day bye